it's uh, this is uh, December seventh, twenty twenty. Don't know if this is recording or not. It looks like it is recording. It's uh, December 9th, 2020. It's uh, from JTG, James Thomas Green. This is Fenris. It's about 2.39 in the afternoon and I am in Casa de Verde in Salinas. Okay, so why did you stop? Okay. This is the uh, Starship, SpaceX Starship SN8. About to, this is the second attempt today, or the second, well, today, the second overall attempt to try to get it in its uh, hop, 12.5. 12.5 kilometer hop up down it's the biggest one so far first flight with three engines they haven't done any three engine hops before They tried earlier today and they got within about about two minutes and a few seconds and they had to uh, abort the mission for some reason. They just reset. I imagine if they don't get it off today, they'll have to try again tomorrow. See a lot of venting going on there at the bottom. That's presumably for, for liquid oxygen because if they were venting uh, from the methane tank, they'd be forming an explosive cloud. The slightest spark would set it off. Now, having more oxygen in the air means that something that did caught fire would burn a little hotter, a little faster, but it probably wouldn't explode. So, and I'm not really, that's probably a combination of uh, the uh, actual liquid oxygen coming out or you know venting out super cold as well as it's coming out so chilled it's probably instantly creating clouds of uh, primarily water vapor I suppose it could also be crystallizing some co2 i don't think that's probably not venting any actual liquid it's probably just very cold nitrogen gas or oxygen gas. 215. You want two minutes? So they're further along now than they were last time. I wasn't actually watching it last time because I was coming home from uh, being at the class I teach uh, for my teaching credential. So it's probably a good thing for me that they delayed it. Probably not good for them, but better they have an abort than a boom yesterday they got I think we were down to like a little over a second to go when they shut down better an abort than a boom don't you agree sneaky dog is this exciting is this exciting little dog yeah this is exciting one minute, one minute. of course they got down to a second before with the space shuttle, you knew if they got past four seconds, they were probably going to launch. 
but apparently with a starship, they can get down to a second and still cancel. I imagine nearly all of this is being done by computer at this point. I'm sure somewhere there's somebody with a big red button. This could be interesting, don't you think? Interesting angle with the sun in the background. Still, if it crashes, it could crash into that ocean there. Ten. There it goes. Lift off. good to me. See the shock diamonds in the uh, exhaust. Okay. <clears throat> Three views. One view in the upper right is looks like that's attached to the camera or attached to the rocket view of the three rockets going and the ground view. I'm not sure how long it's going to take to reach its full apogee. Or is it perigee? I think it's apogee is the highest point. <coughs> it could still have a rapid... Oh, is that scheduled? Oh, shut down two motors. Is that planned? That doesn't look good. Got a, one motor shut down. Does that mean they're not going to make their full altitude, or is this something I did not know about? Are they still climbing? They seem to still be climbing. Maybe it was planned. After all, once the thing gets a little lighter, they don't need the full boost. Do they? That'll be one of the things I'll first want to know. Was this planned? Shut down one engine. Maybe they'll burn the other two longer. We see them wobbling back and forth, the motors. Connor, is that just vibration? Uh oh. Uh oh, okay, got two engines off now. Again, is that planned? A lot of venting going on, too. They did say, Elon Musk did say, oh, they see that little nitrogen gas spike. They used nitrogen gas for attitude. Okay. So it looks like one engine still going. So at least one engine still going. Let's 
site shut down. That doesn't look good. Nope, that's definitely not good. Or is it good? I don't know. Now it's going into the skydiver move. Those flaps are more like to direct it like a skydiver. Although I expected it to be a little tilted a little more. Maybe it's perspective, but it looks like it's tilted down. That could be just the angle of this camera. Still, if they've lost one, if they've lost the motor, they may not be able to land. So if they know they're going to, they may be directing it to the ocean. I think the, are they still going up or are they coming down at this point? So if, they're, if they know they're not going to be able to fire the motors, I think they're not going to. They'll probably end it, send it out to the ocean. So we'll see a crash in the ocean. It seems to be under control at the moment anyway. So even if it did have motor problems, it still seems to be working. <laughs> This is time for, this is landing burn. Oh, hit hard. Well, they did say this is probably gonna happen. So my question is, did those engines go out? Is that planned outages? Except for the landing, that looked pretty good. <clears throat> going to be any commentary. So it looks like it crashed at 642. The whole flight was six minutes and 42. It'd be interesting to watch this again with somebody. Going good all the way there. Hoping we don't have a more this time. Incredible work, team. Nice work. Nice work. <laughs> I wonder if they got a crater. They don't look like they hit that hard. They probably got a pretty good slowdown. <laughs> awesome test. Congratulations, Starship team. So my initial thoughts, it looks like they lost, I, I had thought they were gonna fire all three motors and they were all gonna cut out at the same time. So if they lost one and then they lost two, that means they probably didn't get to their full altitude. It shows they've had problems with the motors. It looks like the descent part went pretty well. And so if they were having troubles with the motors, the engines, that explains why they weren't able to land right. But it looked like the, the actual final firing went pretty well. 
they just weren't able to slow down fast enough. Is this a replay? No, it's a different view. It doesn't appear to be a crater in the landing pad. It's interesting. They landed uh, next to the. Uh, uh, this is that's the super heavy uh, launch pad. The, the pillars, and for some reason they're building a fabric tent nearby. I imagine. I wonder if that tent is full of holes right now. Some debris flying over there. Still, the fact that they hit. The target near dead it looked like they hit the near dead center of the launch pad, so it shows they had pretty good control over coming down. How long will it be before they launch SN9? That's it. Okay, down dog. Ugh. Okay, that's all.